Okay, so today is November 1st, 2021. It is 810, and this is the Hobbiston Parks Commission. In attendance is Sandra Berry. Roll call. Brian Matheson. Jason Gertner. Dave Sacramoni. Okay, so we specifically held this meeting to speak to <clears throat> Chloe Gallagher, who has reached out to us a few times to um, present a proposal for a capstone project that she's interested in doing at the skate park. And we're waiting for her to call in so she can um, present this proposal to us and we can discuss it. While we're waiting for her, we will discuss a, just a couple other things. Um, so just to bring you up to date, I talked to um, Mark at White Turf and he did close down the system, um, you know, two weeks ago or right after the Boy Scouts finished doing what they needed. And he did close it down. Do I have my phone? Yes. He did tell me that he's sending me a bill with some notes because he said the controller system is going to have to be updated or, or replaced or something. Um, and that can wait till spring. So, okay, hold on. So I, um, so I did ask him, he is getting up there in age. And so I did say to him, um, do you see yourself continuing to do this next spring or should we be reaching out to a new company, especially if we need, we know we might need to have something replaced. And he wrote back and he said, I hope to still be doing it in the, the spring. I'm hoping to have good help. If not, then I will um, refer you to someone else I know who does this. So, and he's, so I told him I appreciated that. Um, and he's heading off to Florida on Monday because he spends the winters there now. So, um, so it's up to you if you guys think we should just look for a different company or just wait and see what he comes through with um, in the spring. But it sounds like he'll hook us up with someone else. Um, I mean, I'd wait until he's until he's ready to be done. He knows our system. He knows the timing yeah. of it. He's very low maintenance. Yeah, and I think he's very affordable because yeah. he's been doing it for us for so long. So, all right. So that's that won't be a problem. Um, soccer is ending on November thirteenth, so I'm going to contact the porta potties and have them taken away on the fifteenth. That would be the Monday. Um, yeah, because they won't do it on this. Because they do have games on the 13th. Uh, Jesse told me that today. So that was that. Um, I did go down to the playground today after all the rain we've had, because we haven't had enough rain this year. So, um, and I will say the system's working. I mean, you know, the water is making its way across the parking lot. That water is pooling there again, right on that right by the basketball court where the basketball court starts in that grassy area right on the corner there right on the corner um but other than that there was no water up near the fence there was no water in the in the playground um so that was all good because that was kind of the problem there that that water was sitting there and it was getting kind of smelly and um soaking down the the mulch so that was good um let's see oh i did want to ask you another quick question um so Katie Young is always kind of after me about Charlie Clark Corner because technically Parks decorates it. Do you guys, how do you feel if I buy an artificial Christmas tree to put in there? I just thought it would be one more feature that would look a little more. <laughs> I mean, she's always saying, go big or go home. It's just kind of black in there. And I'm like, oh my God, I've got, you know, for me, I'm comfortable with it. You know, it's just... Simple. It doesn't have to be flashy and in your face, but she wants it flashy, I guess, and be loud. But I don't know. So I was, I was at the store the other day. I'm like, oh, maybe it'd be kind of nice with a little tree inside there. Yeah. And there's like seven hundred dollars in that account, and we don't use that money really for anything other than buying new banners right. and buying new Christmas lights, and so. I don't know. There's yeah, if you can pick up like a pre-lit one, multicolored pre-lit one, you yeah. wouldn't have to decorate it or anything. Just have it oh, yeah. light up on a timer. Absolutely. With yep. all the other lights that yep. are all up there. That makes sense. <laughs> I just thought it might just be a little more decorative. Yep. So I, I'll be honest. I really didn't want to get involved with 
hanging like the snowflakey things hanging off the roof. I'm not going to get up there and climb and staple all this stuff up there. You know, I thought a tree might be easy enough and we can just tie it to the post so it would be sturdy, you know, if it was windy, but so I'm hoping I can find one that will open up like an umbrella, you know, two, two, put it up, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like on the Grinch. So <laughs> if you find one, let me know. I might go pick one up. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had an artificial tree. So I, I, I remember the old ones. You have to stick the branches in. I don't know what the new ones are like, but. I thought I might go check them out and just do something to make it a little more decorative over there. So, so no one cares if I do that. All right. Um, let's see. No, no one else has joined in. So the only other thing I can think of is I, last time we did say we would try to meet right around Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving to figure out the ice rink. And what I will do is I will go and excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I will go and um, get the rest of the boards and stuff. I gotta call. I gotta call that place. Swing some things in. Go pick them up before then uh, for the ice rink and, and the liner. So, but that's all I got. Good matter. Anyone else have anything you want to talk about? Did we say? Did we decide that we were gonna we were gonna meet to kind of start putting the rink together? The, was it the weekend after Thanksgiving? Was that the plan? Yeah, I thought we tentatively made a date of like November 27th. Okay, I, that's what I, I just, I wanted to make sure I re remembered that right. Yeah, Yeah. I okay. mean, hopefully it won't get too, too cold by then. I mean, usually the ground has been really frozen yeah. by, by then, but I'll tell you, we're going to have cold weather this week. And in fact, it's, they're saying chance of snow on Saturday. Oh, you heard that too? Yeah, so if you look at the weather forecast, it's going to be in the 50s during the you know, late 40s, 50s during the week. But at night, it's dropping into the low, low high 20s and low 30s, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, Carrie said some, one of the kids told her that there was supposed to be snow at the end of the week. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw that too. So, And I saw we're up in um, Kangamangas Highway. They already had snow up there like last week. New Hampshire had snow. Yeah. yeah. So, but um anything else we can think of no no all right so i guess i will try to send an email to this girl what are our thoughts about trying to accommodate her one more time or like yeah and uh, i'm pretty sure it was peter lewis that got her in touch with us to begin with so you might want to just copy mr lewis on the email so that he knows that we've been trying to accommodate and not having any luck well her her um i think her thing is with mrs donna burlow she's a yeah, science that's her teacher. advisor huh. yeah i was actually just looking for Bur for her uh email i don't see it but um oh there it is donna yeah d burlow at qrsd.org whatever we sent to, to her i just sent um well right before we started the meeting which, you know, i sent her another email say hey we're waiting for you you know, click the link. I sent her the link too. I said, click this link to join. So yeah. uh, I, we should email her back and say one more shot and copy Donna Burlow on it is my, would be my. Uh, oh, that will give her one more shot. It, it, yeah. Well, if we're willing to, yeah. Well, look, she gets one more shot and then fall, it's going to be not fall anymore. So well, yeah. yeah. And, and I hate to say it, if you read what she wants to do, um yeah she wants to put a trash barrel in there well as of the 13th we're hauling everything out of there i mean we're taking the porta potties out right. where you know i can say i was hoping to meet with that we would meet with her because i was hoping that we could discuss whatever she wants to do maybe with the board of selectmen that we go on the 15th <clears throat> i mean do we want to try to meet next monday would be the eighth. we could try that see if we have any luck um, but other uh, than think, that, I, I don't you think know. I can do the I think I'm out on that one, but. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the whole thing is we have to get, give two days to post a meeting. So, you know, if we post a meeting tomorrow, the earliest it could be would be Thursday night. I'm not around, but you guys can hold the meeting. Um, otherwise. Email her and her, and her teacher and see what they come back with. If they want to do something later this week, yeah, and, and there's time to book one. I mean, I, I don't mind jumping on. It's gonna be quick, but 
I, I just. Yeah, and, and if they do that, I, I do have a few questions and a few of the questions that she's talking about. Um, the paint is chipping away on the ramps and the features. And and so my question is, so is she offering to paint it or is she just making a suggestion to us? Because um, if she if she's offering to paint it, we did we did repaint it just in spring of 2019 and we did not paint the ramps because it was recommended not to paint them. It was recommended to just clean them and we cleaned them with paint thinner and the wire brushes to clean them off as much as we could. But right. if she wants to, and I still have paint left over, that's fine. But my whole thing is, well, if you want to paint, go ahead. But you can only paint in certain temperatures. So uh, yeah, you know, that's I, what I was going to ask. I mean, at some point, she's not going to be able to paint. Yeah. It, that's probably soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we do understand no that. Oh, yeah. And we do understand that the um, there are areas of equipment that are not flush with the ground. And um. So, I, I mean, truly, I know in the past, I think the, the borders have actually moved some of the equipment. I don't know if we want to try to get together and see if we can just shift some of the equipment. It doesn't have to be shifted too much to just get it out of the grooves that are dug into the asphalt. Um, I don't know if we want to try to just meet up there and shift it versus trying to get DPW. I mean, that's going to have to be a job for DPW if they're going to come in and fill asphalt in. And I don't even know if they'll do that this time of year. Um, so I don't know if, do we want to try to just go shift it to see if that would work, um, an asphalt around it or not? I don't know. Not, I don't know what you, I mean, she makes it sound like you could just throw asphalt in there, but I don't know if that's really a fix. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I that's going to work. I think that's going to make it worse. You know, yeah. put more bumps. <clears throat> so I think so, moving is probably the best bet, but. I don't know when it when makes the most sense to do it now or wait till the spring. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think if we're going to give her another chance, let's see what she has, what she, what her plan is. And then, yeah. you know, we can go from there and we, we can do whatever we need to do in the spring. Yeah. All right. Now it sounds good to me because like I said, we're really at the point of, you know, um, shutting down the park at this right. point. So, all right. So all right. I will send, um, I'll send an email to her, I guess, with her and with Donna and copy Donna on it and we'll um, see what they come back with. Okay. Sounds okay. good. And so Sounds if good. they're if, if they're able to meet later this week, how many of you can meet? Depends on the night. Yeah, I, I should be good. Okay. All right. We can do it. Next All week's right. tight for me, but this week I can get it in. That sounds good. All right. Well, I'll let you guys know um, where we're at, and um, and thank you for showing up. And if it's nothing else, then we'll just adjourn. All right. All right. All right. Good. Thanks. All right. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right. Yeah. You too. Bye bye. bye, -bye.